Welcome back friends to the channel. Today's video is sponsored by Simply Safe, an incredibly reliable and effective security system that you can install yourself. Now that we're through the talking points, let's get to what's inside the box. All right. Let's see what's inside. It seems like kind of a small box for a hole for the whole house, but I've never installed one of these, so we will install it today and find out how hard it is. All right, on the top, yard sign, stickers, window stickers, we got that. It's not really what I'm interested in. Okay, so I watched a couple of videos on this, and so I know a little bit about it. What do we have here? We've got the, this is the base deal. So this is, I believe it uses cellular. So if someone cuts phone lines or the phone lines are down or power is out, you're not completely out of luck. So this is kind of the brain of the whole thing. Uh, we've got a keypad. Of course, everything is wireless, which I'm really stoked about. Uh, I do not want to drill a bunch of holes and try to run wires or hire an electrician. Um, I don't mind having a security system, but it's got to be simple. Uh, let's see, we've got a smoke detector. That's a key thing for me because of having the wood stove. That's a big concern for me. I mean, I've, our wood stove, I've, I, you know, I put it in everything, of course, is to code and it's safe as possible, but man, you just never know. You know, having a, a live fire in your house is kind of a wild card. We got motion sensors. I haven't looked into any of these, but we are gonna install them, but I think everything's peel and stick. So it should be pretty simple. Not sure on batteries, we'll check that out, but let's just see. So what we have here is we've got motion sensors, we've got two, these are magnetic entry guards, we've all seen these before, a water sensor. Uh, this is where I'm gonna put a couple of these, kind of sprinkle them around the house. You can put one under the washing machine, uh, put one under the, or by, by your hot water heater, so if you do have a leak, you can get a hold of it. Even though we're remote, if I, if I were to get a call, I could call you know, Jeff, my neighbor, and at least have him come turn the well pump off rather than just having the thing running for days on end. Uh, we got a cam, a small cam there. We have a, what's this? A video doorbell, so the doorbell apparently has a camera in it. And more sensor, a glass breaking sensor. Key fobs for, I guess we could arm it without using the keypad, there's two of those. There's an, another entry guard and a panic button that I'll put up by Mrs. W's bedroom. The nice thing about the panic button, so if she pushes this, uh, it's going to notify emergency service. They're gonna be monitoring, tw the system will monitor it 24 seven, and then they're gonna call you, and if you need service, they can send fire or police or the ambulance or whatever, but without fumbling with your phone or anything or worrying about it you know, being charged. So you could just press that and know that that's, that's on the way. Uh, the last thing in the box we have here is, uh, what's this? Oh, yard sign steak. Okay, well let's, uh, let's start hooking up and see how it works. All right, here we go. Step one, we're supposed to plug this guy, and this is the base station. Plug it in here. Welcome to Simply Safe. Oh, that's kind of cool. All right, so we're gonna plug that in. I don't know where I'm gonna put this for sure, but it's got a lithium battery backup, so by pulling that tab, so if we lose power, it will still be able to contact emergency services. Uh, be careful not to plug this into something that's switched uh, because it's gonna activate the battery. So it's even got a little deal there so you can take your screw out and put your screw for your cover plate on there. Uh, it's not going to back out on you. So we'll start with it right here. Next, I'm gonna mount this keypad here. So we're gonna put the keypad by the door, just to the left of the door there so that when we come and go, uh, we have access to enter that. So that has also got a battery tab so that will activate the batteries. It's got uh, double-sided sticky tape on there. So I'm gonna use, we do things right around here. We're gonna use our handy dandy level. So I'm gonna put that right here. And make sure it's level. Right there, stick that on there like that. Okay, so this comes out. So that we, I guess we're gonna need this thing to program all of the individual little sensors. So that's, it looks like there might be, oh, there's a panic button on top of there too. So that's pressed on there. We'll take this off. Yeah, that's it. I think we got that straight. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Gonna have to use me specs for this next part. Okay, so enter a master pin. Okay, set. All right, well, it seems pretty intuitive. It's very simple to use so far. I think we're ready to install all of our sensors. So I'll start with, a, this is a motion sensor. 
And this is to mount in the corner of a room to get maximum coverage according to the manual. That's not super intrusive. I like the sticky. Um, I'd be pretty bummed to have to drill holes and everything. You can put that sticky on there. So we need to find a suitable location for this little guy. For the motion sensor, I'm gonna put it in library. So it says, so if you have dogs over 30 pounds, so it here it says, take out this tab. That'll activate the battery. It's got the stickers on it. It's got a test button. It said put it, if you have dogs over 30 pounds, and Lucy is that, put it at about four feet off the ground. You could just set this in the corner too. I'm gonna to use the stick, the adhesive there. That's about four feet right there. Apparently uh, it's not gonna trigger with the dogs in here. So that's nice and it kind of blends in right there. This will cover that front door all the way over to the living room and that window as well as the kitchen slider and those entry points. So that's probably, that's probably good a spot as any. Now we need to pair the sensor with the deal. Here's where we're gonna find out if the interface is any good or not. All right, so press button on device to test it. Okay, there's a little button on there. Well, choose a name. Okay, so I'm just gonna punch in here. Well, they're already pre-programmed. That's nice, okay, so I'm just gonna type in, we'll just say, we'll call it dining room. Set. That's it. Press button on a device to test and a name. That's it, so it's loading, it's doing its thing. All right, I guess that's it, we'll move on to the next one. Our next sensor is a glass break detector. Apparently this is gonna pick up the sound of breaking glass. They said don't put it in the kitchen because it could pick up like clinking glass or something from the dishwasher. Um, so I'll put this, usually I wouldn't put this probably on the front door. Usually criminals are gonna come around uh, away from the street or where they're gonna have, not gonna be seen very much. So you might put this on a back window or slider. So let's go find a spot for this guy here. I think I'll put the glass sensor right up here. Um, not near the slider. Sliders are tempered glass. They're pretty hard to break. Uh, so guys usually won't, if they know anything, won't attempt that, attempt that. They'll attempt a window. And I, I think I might add a couple of these guys um, in different rooms. That's what's kind of cool. It's, you can just get another sensor and place them around and, and plug it into the whole system. It'll just recognize it and just give it a name. So this will be in the living room and that will pick up these glasses windows, which are pretty easy to get into, I think. Now we'll pair the glass breaker. Okay, push the button on the top. Glass breaker. Oh, that scared me. <laughs> now choose a name. Okay, name. So we'll go down to living room, hit set. Glass breaker. Name. All right. This is actually pretty fun. <laughs> I just realized there were two motion sensors in the box, so I'm gonna put one in my office in the corner and my office is so small that that covers the whole area. And actually I have an entry from a back door entry that was, I mean, if I was gonna break into a house, that's probably where I would come. And so that would be good here. Lucy is not gonna be in here. So I'm gonna mount this one with a button up right here in the corner. Okay, so this will be, hit the button. Motion sensor found. And I'll name this one. Office. Is there an office? Hallway office right there. Set. Done. Next up are these entry, they're magnetic sticking to each other, are these entry sensors. I'm glad they sent four. We have four entry doors. We have the front door, the slider off the dining room, the door into my office, and the back door out of the cold room. Uh, so we can, that's kind of, it's a, it's smart to have these because we've, We've left the house before, um, I'm embarrassed to admit, with the door open and the back door. That way, when we, if we arm this, uh, it'll tell us right away that there's a door open. So I think we just need to, there's sticky on that too. So we'll pull that tab out. Sticky on both sides. And then these have to, okay, here we go. See the lights? So they can be, what they say, two inches? So open, close like that. One, one beep for one beep for open or one light for open and one for close. All I know is it said that, yeah, two inches, less than two inches apart. So we can stick, let's go put that on the front door. Uh, nice to have that two inch, two inches. Now choose a name. Oh, whoops. I hit the button right there. Choose a name. Where's my clicker? 
Name is front door. That's it. Being able to name each individual sensor is cool because the guy can tell, you can tell, you know, where the entry is, you know, exactly where it's at. You're not, you're not just, yeah, someone's in your house or something, something happened. Who knows where is it? The back door is it the front door. So this is the slider. I'm just going to mount that right on there. Press the button. Sensor found. Choose a name. We'll name this one. Patio door. Our third point of entry into the home will be the uh, my office door, which goes to the back. Next up is our little panic button. Let's see what we have here. So it says, pull these tabs out and that activates those lithium batteries. On the batteries, one of my main concerns was this, with this is I thought, oh, good grief, all these sensors have got little batteries. We're going to be changing those things constantly. Uh, guys online were saying they were getting fi getting five years out of these. They were lithium before they had to change them. So that's something I can definitely deal with. So this I'm going to mount up in right next to Mrs. W's bed up in our master bedroom. I'm not going to show you because what goes on up there is none of your business. There is. <laughs> so uh, I'll go stick that up there and then we'll arm. That's like we can we can arm it right now, can't we? Okay. So we hit. Where's the test button at? Press and hold. Was it? Panic button. Choose a, Choose a name. And we will do master bedroom. It's already set there. Set. Panic button. Name. There you go. Now she can hit this um, and it's going to send for emergency services or, or uh, however you program it. I think you can program it to set an alarm off, an audible alarm, or silent or whatever. I haven't got into those menus yet, but I'll go stick that up there. Next up is our smoke detector. This is the one that I really like. I mean, a, a nine volt smoke detec detector is great if you're home, but if you're not home, it's just making a bunch of racket. No one's gonna hear that. This way, and being so far from emergency services for different things, you know, we have agreements kind of with our neighbors to help one another out. Um, I'll be, I could be notified on my cell phone that there's a problem and have, uh, have Jeff or Brian come over. Let's see here, please remove to activate the batteries. And we'll just spin that in, hit the test, smoke detector found, hallway, upstairs, we'll select upstairs and set. I'm going to order, actually order another one of these and put it downstairs as well. Next up is our water sensor. Now this is the one I'm also going to order, I'll probably order, I'm going to order two more of these. They're just not very expensive and I'm going to throw one under the washing machine. As those things will give you trouble. Maybe they even, especially if you have an ice maker on your dish or your refrigerator, those could be problematic. Laundry room under the washer, as, as I said, and um, hot water heater right there, so that you can see right there. So it must have those sensors on the back. They must, once if water reaches those, they make con contact and that um, will set the alarm off. So let's go put that in Mrs. W's laundry room. All right, I keep waiting for something negative to happen here, but everything has went surprisingly well. Is it gonna fit under there? Were they thinking? <laughs> it does fit, fits under the toe kick anyway. Okay, so we'll press this. Water sensor, I'll just shove that under there. Let's see here, water sensor found, water heater. We'll do, oops, laundry. Done. This little freeze sensor was kind of an unexpected surprise. I was kind of thinking, man, that would be useful in so many areas. For me personally, the bathroom off of my office is not very well insulated. It's, it was that way when we bought it. Uh, and I worry about it sometimes. And we've had the pipes freeze in there before. What we typically do is just just let the water drip a little bit when it gets really cold. It's never a problem until it you know until it's below freezing. I'm going to put this out there, and this will give me just a little reminder, a little heads up. Hey, you need to go out there and, and make sure you, that you've got the water running on that. And that um, it's just one less thing to worry about, you know. The, so I kind of like these automated systems as they do kind of do some work for you. So we'll set this up here. I'm going to put the freeze sensor on this external wall. Down low makes sense because heat rises, right? 
This is where the problem I've had with, I put the stick, I did take the sticker off. This is the problem I've had this supply line uh, freeze here. I like these freeze sensors. I'm gonna, actually, I'm gonna get one where I store my paint, because if your paint freezes, you'll ruin all your paint. Give you a little heads up, and then one, I'll put one in my van as well. Next up, the Simply Cam. Now, I'm not comfortable having cameras in my house when I'm home, and to be honest with you, I would disable this uh, when I'm home. When I would like to have it is when I'm not home. I would definitely use it then. How nice would it be to be able to <laughs> have a friend who's got one of these uh, similar. Years ago, he put it in, and his had audio on it, and his, his dog, Petey, would get up on the, I think it was Stevie? Stevie or Petey? <laughs> Little Beagle would jump up on the couch when they weren't home. Uh, and he wasn't supposed to be on the couch, and he'd log in with his phone, and uh, he'd say, Petey! <laughs> and Petey would jump off the phone. Or Stevie, I, for I forget, whatever. Both of them are a good name for a beagle. Okay, so this one's not battery. This one's going to hook up with a wall plug with a USB. So, uh, yeah. So we need to hook this guy up, and then uh, download an app on our phone uh, to finish the install. So let's go find a spot for it. I'm going to install the camera right here because it gives a good range. I can see both entry doors and the, the wood stove. And because I'm smart, I wired a plug up in there just for this sort of thing in the future. Right there. All right, let's go hook that up. Your camera is ready for setup. All right. All right. And the final thing is the, we got a couple of key fobs here um, that I believe that we can arm and unarm the system um, from your keys uh, without accessing the keypad. Um, so this, there, it didn't show how to hook this up in the, in the manual, I'm assuming. How do we do that there? Is there an instruction on there? I don't really know. I mean, I guess we could just press it and see. Are we home? Everything's on. Okay, so it's already tied into the system. It's already hooked up. I just downloaded the app from the App Store, five-star app, so that's a good sign. To have hardware and software both good is uh, not always the case. So that's really all there is to it. Let's try it out here, see if it works. So I'll just put the keypad on there. When we're leaving, as we go away. Okay, that gives us one minute. So we'll just chill out here for a minute, and then I'll uh, make entry non-forcible. I'll just open the door uh, and see what happens. All right, here we go. The alarm is activated. All of the doors are covered, motion sensors, cameras, all that stuff. If I were to come in, kind of spooky here. What's going to happen? Okay, so it's asking me to enter a pin. Now, I'm a criminal, so I don't have the pin. That's going to make me a little nervous, I think. Not that the yard sign wouldn't. You can see the camera is recording. I wonder how much longer I have before something happens. Oh, good grief. <laughs> All right, I'm getting a phone call and a notification that the alarm's going off. Enter pin. Okay, and that deactivated it. So immediately, as soon as the alarm went off, I started getting text messages that the front door had been triggered um, and my address. And uh, man, that's awesome. Well, I guess that's about all there is to it. I mean, it was really simple. Um, Took me about an hour to hook everything up. I actually, I, I enjoyed it, it was fun. I got the yard signs and some door stickers. I'll go put those out. This right here is a pretty strong deterrent. I mean, criminals are looking for, of course, there's, there's no perfect solution. Criminals are just looking for the, the, the home with the least resistance. And if you have lights out and, and you've got signs up, you know, they're just, most likely they're just gonna move on, go to something, go to an easier uh, target. So uh, yeah, uh, the other thing I think I didn't mention is that um, because it's hooked up to the cellular, it's gonna broadcast out. If someone were to just come in and like smash the keypad or try to break stuff, it's, it's not gonna, it's still gonna transmit out and you're gonna still get, get that call on your phone uh, if you're away. 
so how it works, of course, there's a subscription. I just signed up for the, I think it was right around $24 a month or so, um, and that gave me access to the app because I like having those cameras. I didn't realize how cool that was until I, well, should I show you? I just opened the app on my phone and I only have one camera right there, but imagine how cool it'd be if you had cameras in your shop, uh, you know, maybe different locations, kind of see what's going on. But I just hit live view on there and you saw behind me where we put the camera and that is booting up here. And, and you saw behind me where you put it's got audio. So it records audio as well. And if I want, if I want to record something right there, I can just hit record, the record button, and that's going to record uh, something, anything that's going on. So I, I would really enjoy that. That would be, that's be nice to have when you're away for a couple of days, or you just want to check on the dogs or make sure that there's not a fire or some problem just to check in and see it uh, would be super nice. So uh, yeah, so the you buy the equipment you own it it's not like some of those deals where um, they give you a free alarm system and then they put you lock you into a long contract it's just month by month and you can pick and choose if you just want the basic coverage uh, it's right around 15 bucks just under 15 bucks a month and that's going to notify emergency services uh, if you need a problem as well as yourself if you want to access the app and the camera and have those functions It's another 10 bucks or so right around 25 uh, and that's the one that we're gonna do Well, how what would I do different to change it? Um, I would um, I'm gonna get uh, a couple more of those water sensors as I said, I'm gonna get um, uh, Another camera or two and another motion sensor to put out in the cold room uh, and a motion. I got a motion. Yeah, that would probably be it um, I don't know. It was very simple, but if you want to add something you know, they're not very expensive. You can add them, just put the push the button. It ties in with the whole system. No wires, no fuss. It was very simple. Uh, I'm surprised. It's better than I expected it would be. It's, 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 it's really kind of fun to have. It kind of, it's interesting the feeling you get when, you, uh, when you're home and you, you hit the arming button and you just know that all your windows and doors are covered. And, you know, sometimes I'm working in my office um, with, I, I edit with noise canceling headphones. And so I'm completely not aware of what's going on around me and Mrs. W's around or not around, uh, nice to have just an access. Hey, someone just opened the door immediately on my phone, um, or check the cameras. I, I like that. That's kind of cool. So yeah, I guess that's, that's kind of why we wanted to get into this and why we were talking about it was, uh, just to have a little peace of mind to keep an eye on things, especially when I'm away, you know, living out in the country, it's a little bit, uh, you know, Mrs. W has concerns sometimes and, and uh, to be able to kind of have the panic button up there and, and um, a record of what's going on and seeing who's coming and going, it just makes sense. Um, it's, and it's kind of fun, fun to have too. So just another layer of security. So I'll put a link down below. Uh, if you'd like to, uh, we have a, a Wrangler Star URL there, you can log in and if you buy one, tell them, tell them I sent you and say hi and we support them uh, or we, we appreciate them supporting the channel um, and we'll, we look forward to doing more stuff in the future. So thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on the next video. Good to try this.